Uh, Mandana Dayani is a Jewish Iranian. Her family fled the Tehranian regime, the Ayatollah, and she is also the woman in the video we just showed you talking about the Hamas attacks. It's interesting when we look at the back of Laura's live shot, there was a sign there that says, Victory to the Palestinian Resistance. This isn't about ending the war in Gaza or about giving the Palestinians Gaza. This is about destroying Israel. This is about killing Jews. It's pretty simple. I'm wondering why it seems so difficult for Americans to believe that and take people at face value when they say it. Um, I mean, I think because of misinformation, there is an entire generation of Americans who are helping foreign terrorists achieve their agenda. Um, it, you can't disassociate what you are, what they're saying and their rhetoric with the very explicit goals of the Islamic Republic of Iran. Um, the Islamic Republic of Iran has been sowing this division. They've been doing everything they can to dismantle the West. Um, they, everything about their ideology is anti-Western, anti-American. Um, they are a terrorist regime yeah. that oppresses men and their people, and they are the so ones So you think we should take them... So when people say when people say death to it when people say death to America and I am Hamas and all these things we should take them at face value. Well, yes, and also these these protests is what led to the Ayatollah taking over Iran, right? It sort of looked very much like this, and you know I don't know what the code of conduct of Colombia is, but I can sure tell you that it's not preferential to Jews, as we saw in the hearing yesterday. Um, but as a mother and an activist, like I have been doing everything I can to meet with students um, across the country and to hear their stories. And we have to recognize that, yes, free speech is absolutely an, an important, critical cornerstone of American democracy. But there is like a right to safety and a right to practice your religion. I, I talked with a student who said, you know, his roommate transferred out of Cornell because he didn't feel safe wearing a yarmulke yeah. on campus. Where is his right to religion, right? Like, these students are trying to study in libraries and they're having die-ins. Yeah, but... And they can't yeah, I, I guess I, I, I view it a little differently than when it's on student... You know, when it's on college campuses. College campuses have lots of different things and whether it's a safe space or not and on and on and on. There's a difference, though, between supporting Palestinians' right to their own state, agree or disagree with that, and chanting death to America and offering material support to terrorism and, t and talking about supporting terrorists, which is what's happening um, now. I hate to make this political, but I looked at your Twitter feed, and on the top of it is a video of you, of your daughter, with President Biden, something you're very proud of. And I'm, I'm genuinely curious if you feel as though the lack of really strong statements by this administration about these people, and in some cases sort of cozying up to them um, and providing them comfort, which certainly the administration has, isn't part of the problem. I, I find that this administration has been very, very supportive of Israel. Um, so I, I don't I don't personally agree with that statement, but I also don't think that this moment is about Democrats versus Republicans. I really think that it's important that we recognize this is about humanity versus hatred um, and very, very radical um, ideologies that deeply threatened our democracy. And I think the most important focus should be on what is being said and the like the actual explicit threat that it poses to Americans and the West and all of our allies. Well, and I will tell you, um, there's a lot of people um, of your of your political persuasion who aren't willing to speak as clearly as you are about it. Um, and I know that you probably lost some friends or gotten some criticism for doing that. And it takes a lot of courage to do what uh, to do what you're doing. So we appreciate you being here. You're welcome back anytime. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.